dear friends and welcome to week five overview during this week we are going to be talking about obtaining and removing material so we are going to start with moving materials in and out of the cell which is active transport in the previous part we are we talked about the passive transport and facilitated uh, diffusion so during this week we are going to talk about exploring the concept of active transport our main vocabulary is active transport and maintaining homeostasis this is the powerpoint that we are going to talk about it is a very interacted interacting um powerpoint then we have this video that talks about active transport this is the endocytosis and then we have an interactivity that talks about active transport. This is a comprehension question. It's a worksheet that we will solve as groups. And then we also have another video that talks about the active transport. And also we have here another worksheet that we will solve as an entire class and pair group. And also once you scroll down, you can see here that we have the answer key according to the um, to the worksheet. Then we have the using uh, further pra practice, which basically what we're gonna do is to use graphic organizer to distinguish between diffusion and osmosis. And this is a self-assessment on, you have to log in with your password, of course, as we use. Um, and then we have the second lesson, which is moving materials in and out of the cell, endocytosis and exocytosis. So technically, we are going to distinguish between endocytosis and exocytosis, main vocabularies, endocytosis and exocytosis. This is a video that explains the process of endo, uh, endocytosis. And we have here a um, flashcards about endocytosis. And then we have here a video that talks about exocytosis. And also flashcards that talks about exocytosis. And this is to use a graphic organizer to differentiate between endocytosis and exocytosis. So technically here we are focusing on the skill of using graphic organizer to actually have the basic information that we need. And this is a self-assessment about endocytosis and exocytosis. Okay, and then moving to October 3rd, we will have a lab session, which is compare egg cells. So compare between plant cell and animal cell. So there is a video that talks about plant cell, and this is a worksheet also on Wiser Me that talks about plant cell. And we have here the animal cell. And also we have worksheet and interactive also Wiser Me. You have to log in with your personal um emails so you can access this what is the major structural difference between a plant cell and animal cell and here is the answer for that also we have here uh the self-assessment to complete the lab manual okay and then we have our challenging question moving to the last part of the lesson which is lesson check okay so you are going to be solving lesson check as an entire uh, group uh, and our main vocabularies the entire vocabularies of this lesson, endocytosis, exocytosis, active transport, and passive transport. So a video that talks about active transport, another video that talks about passive transport, and so on. And this is the uh, Savas, the one that you have to log in to access the, um, to access the actual lesson check okay so this lesson check is page 31 of your textbook then we have um, lesson number four which is cell division we are going to introduce you to the functions of cell division identify the functions of cell division cell division and cell cycle this is a powerpoint that talks about the cell division and cell cycle we are going to talk about the structure and function of cell and cell cycle and division. This is a very, and this is a very long um, video that we're only going to watch the first three, four minutes of it. And this is here, function of cell division, flashcards, and this is, I love this uh, resource, the Mavis sisters. And yeah, it's going to talk about the cell cycle. And then we have here the cell activity.
Okay, and here this is the further practice, and this is the answers for the questions mentioned above.